Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm at SCAA 2011. This video is a little lighter than the others because this is something that's brand new that's just introduced today. It's the Breville BES 900. It is a really exciting dual boiler machine. Uh, it's coming out later in the summer in the United States. Uh, and there's a lot of exciting stuff going on here. Uh, there's, uh, like I said, two boilers. Uh, the main group head boiler is a 300 milliliter boiler. And then there's a, a secondary uh, steam boiler that, that's uh, actually a full liter. So you can make espresso and steam milk at the same time, which is kind of something that differentiates it from, well, the espresso machine that I have at home. Uh, let's let's take a look at the kind of high level features really quickly, and uh, and then we'll get Rob from Breville in here to, to give us the the deep overview of what's what's exciting about this machine. So I'm here with Rob Grassier, uh, who's a senior designer at uh, Breville and has worked on this machine for three years, right? That's right, three years, uh, three quick years. Um, well, I think the first thing is that uh, we've got a uh, dual stainless steel boiler system, um, which also includes a heat exchanger and uh, a heated group head. So this allows stable water temperature and is of quite an efficient system to use in terms of being limited to 1800 watts, so we can deliver repeatability of uh, quickly of shots at the same temperature using that system. Um, we have pressure profiling in terms of uh, pre-infusion, so the machine can allow lower pressure to wet the puck and allow the uh, puck to expand and so you don't get kind of uh, cracking or... The channeling, the channeling that makes those nasty under-extracted and over-extracted right. areas. Okay. So yeah, that helps with that. And we can control the actual pressure by the power amount in the pump and we can also control the length of the time that the pre-infusion happens. Um, what we've done is we've built in a uh, inbuilt shock clock in the LCD panel so that as soon as you press any button to start coffee, whether it be manual one cup or two cup, if you have the shock clock on display, it will start counting and then once you finish it'll, it'll uh, stay displayed for three seconds. So it allows you to essentially tune in your machine. So we know the basics of espresso are that you want to get nine bar, about 25 to 30 mils in about 25 to 30 seconds. So right. it allows us to do that tuning um, and that's quite a useful tool we found. And, and you can go manual with this machine if you want uh, by holding the button down to pre the manual button down to pre-infuse. That, that's correct, yeah. So uh, the one and two cup automatically do have a uh, predetermined uh, pre-infusion program. With the manual, you can just hold and press the button down and that will actually run the pre-infusion at a low level while you're holding the button down and then as soon as you release the button, the pump will then go to full power. So the user can actually control the pre-infusion uh, differently every time they use the machine if they like. So if they want to try a bunch of different stuff and kind of dial in over a period of time, then they, that you, you guys make that possible. Yeah, I mean one of the things that when we were developing that we really were interested in doing was this because the engineer and myself, Adam Preston, we, we're quite keen coffee buffs and we like experimenting with coffee and we wanted to have a machine that for someone who didn't want to experiment, they could walk up and would make a great coffee. Mm -hmm. And if you want to experiment, it has all the facilities there for you to try different pressures or temperatures and all that type of stuff. Great. So because it's a double boiler machine, you can actually do you know steam and, and coffee back to back so there's no kind of delay in prep time. But you've done some cool stuff with the with the steam one and steam control on this machine too. Uh, can you run that down a little bit? Yeah, we're using a, a ball valve to operate the steam. So rather than having the typical kind of needle valve that you've got to open and open and close and close to get your steam uh, operating. We've just got a simple lever that's a flick up and then a flick down that's closed and it's really simple and uh, quite neat. Well cool, thanks so much for your time Rob, it's great to meet you and can't wait to see the machine yeah, in person. Pleasure. Yeah, good to meet you.